In today's video, we're going to go over two of the SenseHat projects, the Color Me project and the Humidity Gauge project. So if you need a review on kind of how those are going to work, you can go back to the review SenseHat intro, and there's a good video on there on how the SenseHat works and where, the kind of where you can find code for that. There's also these alternate videos that you can look through to remind how to do loops, iterations, while statements, which we just went over. So if you click on the Color Me Sense App project and wait for it to load, you'll see that he has some directions and it already is set up with, again, the, the basic code you need to get started, all of the imports that you have. So if you want it to look like the regular Raspberry Pi, remember to click down in that bottom right corner. It'll switch over to the Raspberry Pi. Um, also, we'll zoom in a little bit for you. But in this case, this is a little project where you're going to go ahead and find how to make it stay what the temperature is and it's just going to run forever. So we need a while loop that runs forever and we're going to say if the temperature is hot it's going to display the temperature and just the temperature in whatever color that you believe is representative hot. So red or something like that, yellow and then if it is cold, you're going to have it display the temperature in a cold color. So blue, light blue, something like that, or whatever you get feel that cold represents. And then finally, because this isn't an if, else, if, and then you can make it an else statement, else, what's left over is all the temperature in between those. So if temperature is hot, display the temperature in a hot color. Else if the temperature is cold, display the temperature in a cool color. And then else, that means anything that's not hot, not cold, you're going to display it in a neutral color. Green, orange, whatever you want. Again, again the point is, it's your. this is your app. You get to design it. So make sure you follow these steps. Create three colors. Again, if you're confused on that, there is the review sense app intro up there that you can go to and find more information on that. But you need to create three variables. So either spot for that, color, name, whatever the variable is, equals, and then how do you actually get that color? And then you're going to get the temperature. So you gotta get the temperature, remember, you can go back to the review sense hat information, watch the video again, look through the code. You need to grab the temperature so that you can display the temperature in the correct color. The next is a while loop that runs forever. Now this is probably the easiest part of the program because while true runs forever. But you still need to write the correct while loop, colon, everything else that's needed. Now inside of that, this is where Again, we have nested statements. So we have if statements that are inside the while statement. So you already got the temperature. So if the temperature is hot, and again, you pick hot. So if you believe 100 degrees Celsius is hot, which again, that's boiling water, but again, for this exercise, that's fine. Then if the temperature is greater than 100, show message. The temperature, again, the temperature, you're not saying anything, you're just displaying the temperature. Temperature comes back as a integer. So therefore, you need to make sure that you convert it to a string. Again, the code to that is back at the review since that intro. So we have if the temperature is hot, show the message with the correct color. And show message is also in the sense at intro. The code for that is back there. So then else if the temperature is less than whatever you can say 20 degrees, then you're going to show the message with the temperature and the color that you chose for it. And then finally, you're just going to use an else statement because that means everything else, which means everything in between, you don't need to create an else if statement to say the temperature is greater than cold and less than hot you can just say else because that already covers everything and then you'll show that message in that temperature. But remember, and I kind of did this so it's indented, 
the show message is indented. So if you're following the indents, create the while loop. If statements get indented once, and then the show messages will be indented twice. The last piece, and hopefully you figured this out when you were working on the review for the Sunset intro, but if you haven't, you need to update the temperature. And it's really not that hard because essentially what you need to do is get the temperature again. So go look at the line that you got the temperature and that's how you update the temperature. Now also notice that this is inside the while statement. So therefore it's only one indented. It's not inside the if statements. Don't put it inside the if statements. Put it inside the while statement. So all of this is no indentation. All of this is one indentation, and this gets that second indentation because it's inside an if statement. So below you'll see that you have all the spot. Grab your colors, add them here, create your while loop, and then inside the while loop you're going to have your if statements, and then you need to update the temperature. It'll come back up to the while loop, which is always going to run, and then it's going to say if the temperature changes. So you'll just scroll here. It'll show the temperature, and if your thing was over 100, then and color red, then it'll show 102 in red. And then you test it out, go down here to negative 12, and then if your temperature was net less than 20, then it should show negative 12 in blue or whatever color you chose. And then if it was 20 and 100, this is between those two numbers, so therefore it'll pick, it'll show 50 in whatever color. That is, again, just showing the number in this exercise. Just showing the number. Now, once this is done and you understand this, the next project is just taking it one level. So you're, it truly shows you understand. So when you click on Humidity Gauge, it does almost exactly the same thing. The only difference is you need to figure out how to get the humidity. So you look, all the code is the same. All of this is the same pretty much. There's one other change I'll go over in a little bit. But the key is you're getting humidity. So in this if statement this time, you're saying if it's humid, if there's a lot of moisture in the air, you're going to have a color. So you you know, grab three, three colors, one color for very moist, like blue, like living in Florida where it feels like you're swimming when you walk outside. And then uh, color for dry, so like here in Hermiston, where it gets really dry outside during the middle of the summer, maybe yellow or red again for that, and then when the humidity is just right. So when you have a good humidity, and I'm not a scientist, so again, just choose your own variables, uh, your own numbers for that, your own standards, but this is the toggle you'll use over here for doing the humidity. And again, same concept, except for you're going to kind of change the numbers because you notice 0 to 100%. So check out your numbers there. Maybe if it's less than 10, it's dry. If it's over 80, it's really humid. And anything in between, it's not. So the, the if statements are going to be set up very similar, except for you're comparing the humidity. Now this case, when we show the message, you actually will use a message. So... In this case, say it's very dry. So you say it's less than 10 degrees, 10%. So right now it's at 7%. So if I use humidity and I say, if temperature is less than this, or if humidity is less than 10%, show a message. And you pick the message. So it's very dry outside. Again, in the correct color. So if you chose red to represent dry, then the message should display it's very dry outside and the text color should be red. And then else if it's very humid. You can show message in blue or whatever you chose to show, represent humid. You know, it's very wet outside. Um, or it's like a swimming pool outside. I mean, whatever message you want to say. And then again, the else statement, which will represent everything that's not hot or not humid and not dry right in the middle, can, can use green or something, and show message, ah, that's just right. Whatever is your message, but you're gonna display Texas time. So, as a point of warning, 
before we were changing integers into strings. So if you copy your code, don't copy the str or make sure you delete the str at least and strings have quotes. So again, make sure that you go over and realize that this is no longer asking for it. So this is showing that you understand how strings work, you understand how the show message works. So that's why this is just a few changes so you have to go back and figure out how do I get the humidity. I haven't shown you how to get the humidity. I showed you how to find how to get the humidity, again, back in the review. So with that, I want you to go ahead and work on these two projects. And then next class we'll go over the final project for the Sensats um, in this unit. Have a great day.